Good morning. <laughs> it's been a bit of an off kilter one for me this morning <coughs> because uh, we accidentally laid uh, over overlaid over slept in. Form words? No, thank you. Useless. Anyway, it's Vlogmas Day 16. I can't believe we're that far in already. And I've managed every day thus far, but touch wood, don't jinx it, Suzanne. I'm touching a chair. So, um, yeah, it all went a bit uh, because um, I didn't get to do things in the normal order. But I'm recovering from that now. So I promised a little check-in with my, <coughs> my advent projects and things, so I thought I'd do that whilst the house is quiet. Uh, so, first of all, advent parcels for today. Day 16 of callers. Oh gosh. Ooh. A shiny and a candle. A shiny goes in basket. Uh, a Malteser. And, oh, these are so pretty. The pretty skeins of the day and oh this is so pretty very festive little uh, stitch markers and there's one two three four five six Seven, eight, ten. We see. Oh, yes, you can. In this pretty little bag, and they're all Christmassy. They are so pretty. Thank you so much, Paula. Keep those together in that for now. <coughs> Bramble and Sue. How could I not remember that? Susie Q on Ravelry. Sue from New Zealand. I mean, I've got no excuse really with that, have I? This is her parcel. And today we have New Zealand Merino Nylon, my own hand dyed, using food colouring. Ooh, so exciting. Ooh, wow. That is so pretty. Thank you so much, Sue. So here we are with this. Oh, no. Wait, Suzanne, you've not done your tea calendar. We've got spicy anise. Can't remember if I also had this one already. We're on round two. Can't remember whether I liked it or not. I think I might have done actually because I do like star anise very much in like stewed plums with star anise and things like that. Very, very pleasant. Okay. Just trying to work out whether there were actual pieces of star anise in here or not. There might be, but they're very small. So, organic black tea, yeah, with ginger cloves and star anise. I will like that because I love all of those spices. Excellent. Right, now I can show you the sock. So here's the sock. Sock the second. Don't these colours look gorgeous together? What I am going to have to do though, because in my first sock I was adding two minis per day because I was opening the ones from um, Cherie as well. That heel looks weird. So obviously I've not got as many minis left to put in here. I need 18 per sock, I think. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to intersperse um, some of the, because I've got loads of, well you saw the bowl of them the other day, loads left over from these minis. So I'm going to pop some of these into this sock as well. I might put one in between, um, I might or I might not because I think these, I thought what I'll do is wait until I've opened it for the day and then decide do I want to go straight into the next one or do I want to pop something in between them. They're a little bit, they're not that close in tone. 
I'm, I don't know. I might have a play around in a bit when I sit down to do a bit of knitting and look and decide which one, what, what I think would look nice. I do quite like it when they're very random. So uh, it might be fun to put something like neon in there because I've not got any real neons in this one yet. So I might do that. I'll see you in a bit anyway. So that's that one. I'll be working on that later. And these are very generous 10 gram minis. More like 15 if I'm being honest for most of these. And then here is the um, advent shawl I'm making with the lovely minis from Paula. Uh, and I've got quite a bit of catching up still to do on it. But I've been working on teacher presents and things like that. So it's getting huge. I'm loving the way it's looking and I really want to have it done for Christmas Day. So got to keep going. So <clears throat> the last time I was having a catch up, what I did was I just took all, I took six mini skeins and magic knotted them and made like a, a magic ball. I think I've got about 20 grams left in that one. And then I've got another six here. So I'll do the same again with those. And I didn't worry about putting them in the order. I just looked at which colour order I thought I would like and then worked back from that. So like I might put those two together because I think they are, actually might be the same yarn. And I quite like the idea of having, you know, because now as I'm getting, it's getting much bigger, I'm not getting a solid block of colour. I'm not getting quite a full row with one five gram mini skein. So I quite like the idea of putting those two together so I get a bit more of a chunk in it, if you know what I mean. So I think that's what I'll do. But before I can sit down, I am going to be sitting down and doing some work on that this afternoon, I hope. Well, I'm going to be sitting doing, down and doing some knitting crochet work. But um, as I say, I've got teacher gifts to get finished, which I'll show you what I'm working on in a bit. Because I'm fairly certain that none of Cosmo's teachers um, actually watch my podcast uh, and um, Ivy is making her own teacher gifts which she has been doing since year three really maybe even year two actually because she got really into harmer beads when she was about Cosmo's age and I'm yes she did definitely make harmer bead Christmas decorations for all her teachers but Cos didn't really feel like he wanted to, to do that but he has made lovely cards for them so uh, I need to get that done but I'll definitely be doing some work on this this evening last night um, I went to bed really quite early um, I actually slept for over nine hours which for me is fairly uncommon I obviously really needed it um, the night before I'd had real trouble getting to sleep and then I was up in the night with cos so I was absolutely exhausted and I, I just did my knitting, did my sock, and I finished off working on that um, mat which you saw me working on yesterday. Uh, and then I just thought, no, I'm not going to start on my shawl because I needed to listen to my body. My body was tired and I needed to do as I was told by it, so that's what I did. But before I can get to any of the nice stuff, the front room needs a good vacuuming and dusting. And I've got a pile of iron in the size of Mount Etna. So that's my morning job. I'll talk to you later. Oh, I'm going to, once I've got the um, mat, just needs a little pressing. So later this afternoon, I'll probably do a nice little showing of all of the um, gifts, because I think I'm done now gathering the giveaway. So I'll show you that, and perhaps we'll do that tomorrow. <clears throat> I need to decide exactly what I'm going to ask people to do, though, before I definitely promise that but I'll be having to think about that while I'm doing my ironing and watching some vlogmases. See you in a bit. This is what I've been gathering together for my little subscriber giveaway. So here's a handmade Christmas mat which you saw me working on yesterday and we've got a little bauble progress keeper and a holly one and these are made by my friend Nicola. This absolutely beautiful bauble which I just thought was gorgeous. We've got this lovely golden snowflake from my shop Huckleberry Willow that I love going to. Some um, peppermint Ritter sport chocolate because it's delicious. Uh, <coughs> a bundle of mini skeins 
many did I do? Two, four, six, seven mini skeins in there, and they're 10 grams. Um, some really cute Christmas stickers. Some of my favourite Morrison's Winter Spice Tea and this gorgeous Santa mug. So this is going to be um I think I'm going to launch the giveaway for this tomorrow. But I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek of what's going to be in it. So if you fancy winning this, what we need to do is make sure that you're subscribed and then keep your eye out for the giveaway video. So <clears throat> bear with me on that and I'll, uh, I'll let you know. It'll be tomorrow, I think. All right, keep your eyes peeled. <sighs> I walked to school in a bit to get some exercise today and ended up being here 20 minutes earlier than I needed to be. Clearly I walk faster than I give myself credit for. Oh well, at least it's not raining and freezing. It's quite pleasant out this afternoon actually. Good evening lovelies. Today I have added this, this and I'm um, two thirds of the way through this stripe in my sock. This is the Christmas tree from... It wasn't Golden Yarn, was it? I can't remember now, but it was <coughs> one of the ones from my second Advent Swap Partner, Anne. Um, then this was the one, the New, the New Zealand one from Sue. And then this is one from my <laughs> first Swap Partner, Anne. Um, I, I felt it was all um, very similar in tone down here. So I decided to put a neon in. So I've added quite a chunk today. So I'll probably do the similar thing again tomorrow. Add the one that I get from my advent for tomorrow and then add a couple of extras in as well. And then I'm just going to watch a little bit of Vlogmas and work on, crochet on my shawl a little bit while, um, while I'm doing that and then I'm going to get an early night because I've got another busy day today, uh, tomorrow and I've had a busy day today. A very active day today actually so uh, I'm ready physically and mentally for a rest. So I'll say in the night and I'll speak to you tomorrow.